Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Entity Reference Override. Uh, so this is a really handy module. If you are referencing uh, one entity to another, um, and you're pulling in information about this referenced entity, but you need to, uh, for whatever reason, do a one-off um, override of a value in that referenced entity. Um, the most common scenario I've found for this is <clears throat> when, let's say, having a list of um, faculty and staff on a program page uh, for a college or university website. Um, it's pretty common for professors to have really long titles that list out all of the different um, positions that they hold, relationships they have to various um, entities um, that they're a part of. Um, and it can get pretty long. And if you're wanting like a short, simple, clean byline or, you know, teaser of that person, a lot of times it makes sense to just pull one aspect of that title. So <clears throat> we've got Entity Reference Override. It was created by Jeff Eaton over at Lullabot. Um, the Lullabot folks got the thing going, and then um, Agaric uh, Tech Cooperative has uh, picked up the baton and continued uh, improving it and maintaining it. Um, so, yeah, the Agaric folks rule, the Lullabot folks rule. You know, it's a real kind of celebrity list of Drupal contributors here. So we know the under the hood, it's it's solid using Drupal best practices. Um, it is at an alpha release. Um, but, you know, I, I find with modules that are pretty simple in scope and what they do, that's OK. And it's it's always worked out well for um, for my uses and is being used in production on several sites, 108 according to this counter. So let's just uh, dive right in. Um, I've already installed the uh, module. Once you do, then it provides a new um, field type for you. So I'm just going to hop over to this program um, content type. And I've already created it, but let me just delete it and start over to show you that workflow. Okay, so say we have a program content type. This is for things like the master's program or um, you know some other like academic program that you're featuring on the site. And you want a list of faculty and staff. So I'm gonna add a new field. Under reference, we see now there's a entity reference with custom text. Give it a name. It's going to relate to content. We want it unlimited. And everything that you kind of see when you're creating an entity reference field. I'm going to choose person as the type of content you can reference. OK, so here's, here's where we want to start using the uh, entity reference override modules features. So in this case, I want to override their job title. So that's what I'm going to give for the label of this custom text we're overriding. Um, this is the format that you want to give um, the author. So in this case, let's do simple toolbar. And default value, we don't need that. OK. So now we've got the field. Now we can configure it in the form display. Let's just put it up here. OK, autocomplete looks good. Mm, rest of this looks good. 
So you can save it. Managing the display. We've got faculty and staff. Let's just put this up here so it's easier to see. Um, we want to make sure that we're doing the rendered entity here. And this is where, so I want to use the teaser view mode for the person. So then this is the last step really to get the entity reference override functionality working. We want to choose what text we want to override. Um, so uh, the module works with any kind of text field, whether it's plain text or um, formatted text. And so here we'll use the job title. Oh, classic mistake. <laughs> That's on default instead of full. Okay, so rendered entity. This is all good. And now we need to do with what we did before on this. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I've already created a person content type. And here under the job title, and this is, you know, this is an actual title. So like like I was explaining at the beginning of this video, right? You can have a lot of different you can have a pretty long title. It can list out several, you know, schools or programs that that this person is is um, involved with but for our purposes we really just want to know that he is the director of the davis center so i'm going to hop over here here's the master's program and here is the faculty and staff now i don't see any uh remember that custom title text we put in i don't see it here so i think that this is a bug in the module which as uh, you know, good open source users will file this issue after this video. Okay, so start typing. Here's Rawi. Um, I'm gonna leave this blank just to show you all um, that if you leave it blank, then it just pulls in the title of that person. Great, but we don't want that. We want a more concise title. So. We are just going to say that he is the director of the Davis Center. Leave it at that. Nice and simple. And boom, there you go. So here's a de that's a demonstration of the entity reference override module. Um, yeah, if it fit, it's a you know it's one of these nice modules that fits a real specific use case, and when you have that use case. It's, it's a real lifesaver. So encourage you to go try it out if, um, if you find yourself in that situation when you're making a Drupal site. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.